Hi everyone, I'm Louise Mathias. I'm a holistic barrister, an advanced trained mediator, a certified high performance and emotional intelligence coach and consultant. Prior to COVID-19, were you driving along your journey of life and practice? Pretty comfy, I'm out the window, a few bumps, but no real challenges. And then you were hit, like all of us, with COVID-19 and you feel like you've been T-boned. Have you lost your job? Are you stood down? Um, maybe you're running your own firm and you're finding that you still got work in progress, but you may not have the level of inquiry that you're used to having and they're a bit up and down. So you, you may be worried about the firm, your firm's profitability going forward into the future. And if you're an employed solicitor, you may be worrying about your job security into the future as well. We know that there's been so many changes over these last few months and uh, changes that you've had to adapt to and um, really take on board so that you can continue to work um, to the best of your ability in these changed circumstances. It really needs to be applauded and you need to be applauded for how you have adapted and shown your flexibility in these times. So I say well done to all of you. And they're saying that the changes that we've seen as a result of COVID-19, some of them are here to stay. You may agree, you may not, but I'll just give you a few of them and um, you can um, judge for yourself. But they're saying that we are going to continue to need to upskill and to adopt new technologies and digital processes in practice. And we know how important that technology is in the success of um, remote workers or work from home, uh, people who are working from home. Uh, there's going to be lots and lots more conversations in workplaces about flexibility and work-life balance and um, things that may not have been discussed prior to COVID-19 um, because now people have been uh, have found that they've been very productive at home and so the genie's out of the bottle. We've also seen online courts and they're predicting that they will work in tandem with uh, traditional appearances. We've seen virtual mediations and virtual conferences regardless of the platform that's used. And we know that they will probably work in um, uh, certain circumstances um, because we know that they cut out time and they can be useful in addition to face-to-face -to -face, uh, meetings as well. So all of these changes, are they all that we need to do to make sure that if we're driving along in these new difficult times, that we're going to be successful now and on to, into the future. Are these changes going to give me that job that I so desperately need? Are they going to give my firm the success and the profitability that it needs? Are they going to help me to be the person that I need to be so that I can lead myself and support myself on the journey to reaching my goals on a daily basis. We know that success can be, uh, you can be successful despite the circumstances. You can also be unsuccessful despite the circumstances because success is a choice. And there have been lots and lots of successful people throughout history. So we should be able to learn some lessons from them. And what we do learn is that unsuccessful people, when uh, they are confronted with new. They ask themselves, how do I adapt? How do I approach new? And often they are self-sabotaging when it comes to new. And they may have mindsets that really don't help them um, to be successful and to help them reach their goals. So some of the mindsets that they may uh, have are, I can't do it. I just, I just can't. You know, I've had this T-bone, I can't recover, I can't get my car fixed, I'm stuck, I can't jump in a new car and continue on that road to my destination, to whatever that goal is of mine. They're stuck, They're, it stops them in their tracks. Another mindset might be, I just don't have what it takes. So they're more, they're concerned as they're driving in their car on their journey, and they're looking at every movement of their steering wheel and if they've got a manual, they're, you know, they're driving, they're watching how they're shifting gear and the um, a, a speedo and how much petrol is it. So they're really just focused on the here and now. And they're not looking up and looking at the road ahead and looking as to where their destination is. Hopefully their destination is clear in their mind because if they don't have a clear destination, it's going to be very difficult to 
be successful to reach that. So thirdly, they may also think, oh, you know what, I'm just not one of those successful people. And that is a self-defeating uh, uh, mindset because it really um, progresses the thought that there is a successful type. And yet all of us can be successful if we've got the right habits in place, if we've got the right mindset, if we're daily putting into practice things that are going to help us to be successful, if we're going to be the best version of ourselves. And doing that on a daily basis and making sure that we're progressing towards our goals on a daily basis, all of us can be successful. It's not a club that only some people can, um, can um, be a member of. All of us can be successful. So on the other hand, as I said, we can learn things from people who are successful. When they're confronted with new, how do they cope? How do they adopt new? And it's interesting because when they have new things that they have to deal with, they say, you know what, I can't at this point in time do it, but it's not going to stop me because I'm going to learn and I'm going to upskill and I'm going to be the best that I can be at this, whatever this new thing is. And in addition to that, they're so honest with themselves because they know that to reach their goals and to be the best or the most successful that they can be in life, they have to be the best version of themselves. So they're very honest about getting out of their comfort zones, doing what they need to do to amplify their strengths, to address their weaknesses so that they can become that very best version of themselves. Not in comparison to others, because we're all unique humans, but to be the best version that they can be and work towards that every single day. A version that's going to help them and support them to be a success. I don't know how much of my story you know, but I don't worry, I'm not going to give you a lifelong lesson. We'll be here way too long. But let me say that um, I came to law 10 years ago in 2010. And I sat the three bar exams simultaneously in 2012, which I passed and became a barrister, obviously. And then it must also be recognised that I didn't finish high school. So how does a person who doesn't finish, even finish high school get to become a barrister? I believed and always, uh, because of my previous life experience, had always believed that if I worked hard enough and I tried hard enough and I put things in place, I could learn and I could upskill. And I could do it, not because I'm egotistical, because I'm not egotistical, but it was, I, can, I do have the capabilities to do this. Whatever I set my mind to do, I can do. I can learn it. I can do it well. I, like everybody else, I'm not so special that, you know, yes, she's become a barrister because she's had all of these opportunities and circumstances that have helped her reach her goals. No, that's not the case at all. I didn't know anyone when I came into law and I didn't have legal connections when I became a barrister. I'm still at the bar. Everybody waits too long for the perfect circumstances to, to go and move towards their goals, to be the best version of themselves. There is no perfect time. My goals have shifted since I've been at the bar. I now, my goal is focused on um, expert non-court dispute resolution, particularly mediations, and also high performance and emotional intelligence, coaching and consulting on an individual or a group basis. So I've had to adjust my road to reach my goals during the course of me being a barrister as well, which has uh, meant that I've had to upskill, which has meant that I've had to learn, put myself out of my comfort zone. Why? Because I've had to have goals that resonate with me. I wanted to make a difference to lawyers and I've wanted to make a difference to clients and bring a new approach to conflict resolution and to bring um, a set of tools, scientifically backed tools, to lawyers so that they can reach their full potential and be at their happiest in all areas of their life. All of us can reach our goals. All of us can be successful. We just need to be committed, not waiting for the perfect circumstances and committed to be our best selves, to be whatever the best version of yourself looks like. And that sometimes takes learning and upskilling. 
to be able to reach that so that when those uh, opportunities arise, that job that you so desperately want, you're the first person that they're going to be looking at. Your firm is going to be that firm that attracts clients. You're going to lead your uh, staff in a way and your employees in a way that makes them even more productive. You're going to have good culture in your firms. It's going to be really productive and successful for not only you, but everybody who is relying upon you. So COVID-19 has had an impact on all of us in one way or another. It may feel like we've been T-boned, but don't let new stop us in our tracks. We can fix up our car. We can jump in a new car, get on that road, head towards our destination, our goals. They may have shifted and we need to be really clear on what those goals are, but we need to get on the road to be reaching those goals on a daily basis so that we can be successfully reaching them. It is in our control. When there is so much out of our control, this is something that is in our control, being the best version of ourselves, reaching our goals, and um, it is, I can guarantee you, it does um, promote uh, better mental health and it does uh, help us to be performing at a level that we may not ever imagine that we could. So that we do become the people that attracts clients and we do get into the jobs where we want to be working. So it really is a win-win for all and it's something within our own individual grasp. If you think I'd be a good fit for a mediator for your family law or personal injury matters, please contact me. Otherwise, if you'd like a one hour free strategy session, absolutely no obligation on high performance, either individual or group coaching, uh, please contact me. More than happy to discuss that with you further as well. I look forward to speaking with you soon.